Good morning, Calvary. It's Wednesday, and I get to bring you the word of the day. Pastor Chad here, and we're continuing our conversation about Nehemiah. And yesterday, Pastor Joe shared about his brokenness and how he prayed and sought God and fasted and, and challenged all of us to set aside some time Friday or whenever it works for you to uh, spend some extra time with God, to, to fast uh, for a period of time and seek God. And, uh, and I encourage you to do that. And today we're continuing the story in chapter 2, picking up where Nehemiah arrives in Jerusalem and, uh, and he's received as governor and he gets up in the middle of the night and he goes and he looks at the wall. Now, he, he's there to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, but he has no idea what that's going to entail when he arrives. And, and so uh, he's got to provide that assessment for himself. And so he gets up, he doesn't want the enemies to know what he's doing, he doesn't want a bunch of people to know what he's doing, he takes a few trusted men with him, and he, he goes around Jerusalem and sees the brokenness of the wall, sees the, the places where the gates have been burned, and, and he makes that assessment so that they can begin the work to rebuild. Uh, now, that's, that's not a really exciting thing, except this. If we're going to rebuild our lives to the glory of God, then we need to assess our lives. We need to check our own hearts and our own minds and our own activities to, to see what God wants to build in our lives because my guess is uh, that we're not living the, our, the lives that we hoped and dreamed that we would have. And if that's the case, then we need God to redeem our lives, uh, to take our brokenness and put it together in a beautiful way. And if he's going to do that, then we've got to get honest with ourselves about where we are. So here's, here's some things, and I hope you'll write these down and, and, and use them maybe as a resource to uh, pray through on Friday or whenever you're going to take some time or just simply to have a conversation with your spouse or your loved ones or your friends that are trusted about your own life. So we need to assess our lives physically, our physical health. I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but I've gained weight during this kind of shutdown period. Uh, not only did the economy shut down, not only did a lot of our activities shut down, but I, my physical activity kind of shut down as well. And uh, I haven't been working out like I wanted to, I've been eating a whole lot of stuff I shouldn't be eating. And, uh, and I need to change that uh, and get back to a healthier lifestyle. So you need to, to kind of you know, assess your life and see what you need to change. I know I need to make some changes for my physical health. And, and then we need to assess our financial health. Are you struggling uh, financially? Are you just surviving or are you thriving? Where are you in that? Uh, we've been able to help a lot of families during this time uh, with rent, with utilities, with food. Uh, that, you know, Calvary invests in our benevolence ministry. A lot of you are generous towards that. And so resources are there. If you're in need, then reach out to us. Uh, we've got regular benevolence hours on, Tuesday, or on Wednesday and Thursday, and we'd be glad to make an appointment for you. Now, the other thing is this, uh, we just finished Financial Peace University and I have heard several stories of people who are thriving during this time of financial difficulty because God taught them so much through financial peace and they had already changed their life to be financially healthy. To them I say kudos, great job, way to listen to God, but if uh, you need to take financial peace going forward, we're going to be offering it again as a church, so pay attention to that and you can sign up and be a part. But we need to figure out where we are physically, where we need to figure out where we are financially. We also need to assess our health spiritually. You know, uh, a lot has changed. We haven't been able to gather and worship in person for two months. We, you know, uh, our life groups, if you were in one, went online to Zoom. Uh, it's just been difficult. But during this time, have you grown closer to God or have you drifted away? Ha have you been using this extra time to read, to pray, to, to listen to sermons or Bible studies? Uh, or have you kind of just drifted and gotten away from things? Are you, are you worshiping on a regular basis, even from home, uh, through our website? You see, uh, we need to make that spiritual assessment because there's no way we can rebuild our lives to the glory of God unless we're seeking God. So where are you spiritually? Ha have you gotten back into some bad habits that you'd overcome? Is there some things you need to repent of? Uh, bring before God. Again, the, the, the challenge that Pastor Joe shared yesterday with setting aside some time, some intentional time for prayer and fasting and, and looking at our lives, that's a great opportunity to feed your spiritual health. And then you need to assess your relational health, your relationships. How are your relationships doing during this time? Some of you have 
you know, been forced to spend a great deal of time more with your spouse, your kids, your parents, your friends that are really, really close to you than you ever intended to spend or was ever normal. And for some of you, you have redeemed that time and your family's having a blast and you guys are going, hey, we're not really anxious for the lockout, lockdown to end because uh, we're enjoying this family time. And others of you are struggling. You're struggling. So I'm just going to challenge you. Uh, is your marriage healthy? Is your family dynamic healthy? If not, you know, maybe you need to start this uh, process off by apologizing to some people. Do you, need, do you need to say you're sorry to your spouse? Do you need to apologize to your kids? I know some of you have like never apologized to your kids. It'll blow their minds, but it, it will also be very healing. But if your life is going to get rebuilt and thrive, then the relationships need to be healthy. You see, God wants to change our lives. And that's why at Calvary, our purpose is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ through the love of His people and the power of His truth. The truth is, we need to assess our lives so that we can figure out what God wants to change to make us the people that He calls us to be. So here's my prayer for you. And, and I'd encourage you to look up Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, because here's what David prayed when he wrote this psalm. He said, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and then lead me in the way everlasting. I pray that you'll take an honest look at your life and you'll get honest with Jesus and a few trusted friends and you'll allow God to show you how you need to rebuild your life to the glory of God. God bless. Love you, Calvary.